guys welcome back to my channel today I have this makeup look right here and I'm using Maybelline products only so if you guys want to learn how to get this look just keep on watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also please turn on the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I upload now let's get started with the tutorial I am starting with the brows. I am using the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Crayon and this is in the shade Soft Brown. It has a spoolie on one side, which is what I like, and on the other side it's like a thin pencil. It's like the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. So I like to do my brows first now and then carve them out. Now to carve my brows, I'm using the Instant H Rewind Concealer and I'm gonna use this flat brush and the concealer I always get, it's in the shade Neutralizer and I will use this to prime my eyelids before my eyeshadow as well To set my concealer, I'm going to use this Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and this is in the shade 10 Fair Light. I've used this before and I love this powder. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier but a little bit more fine and I like this one way better. I usually don't reach for the Laura Mercier as much. I always reach for my RCMA No Color Powder. But this one is comparable to the Laura Mercier in color as well. Well, this one's a little bit more yellow. For eyeshadow, I'm going to use the City Mini Palette. And this is what it looks like here. It has a gold shade, a purple shade, like a light purple. It has a dark purple shade, a bone shade for the highlight and the brow bone and then you get two shimmer shades over here like a silver one and this is more of a bronzy one I am going to start off with this shade right here I like to bring my eyeshadow out that's just what works for my eye shape I don't like when my eye shape looks smaller so I don't like to round it out as much I just like to bring it out as much as I can this shade is pretty it's blending out really well it's like, it looks purple on the pan, but on my eye it looks pinky. I don't mind. It's a good transition shade. I'm gonna take the bone shade here. And then just set the... Under the brow. And then, I don't usually take it all the way over here, so just go right here. Up to right there. Now I'm just going to take this darker shade over here and I'm taking that with my blending brush, the 224. It's a pretty shade, it's just not that pigmented. These eyeshadows are not my favorite. They're not the easiest to blend out, as you can see. Um, I like how this side turned out, but this side is a little bit blotchy. These are not my favorite, and I'm not going to recommend you guys something that's not good. So I wouldn't recommend you guys to go out there and buy Maybelline eyeshadows. They're not the greatest. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the concealer and the flat brush again I have a hooded eye so I am gonna go above it a little bit above my line right there so above this line that creases I'm gonna go a little bit higher this shade right here is a lighter one and I'm gonna use a flat brush and then I'm going to spray a little bit of water. Right 
right now I am going to focus on the face. And for the face, I did get a few things that I've never used from them. Um, the first thing that I've never used is the Maybelline Master Prime Primer Base. And this is the blurring and smoothing one. And it just says 100. This primer looks very hydrating. I love this primer. It's very, very moisturizing. Yeah, it's really smoothing as well. For foundation, I'm using my favorite one from the drugstore. I used to use this foundation a lot. And this is the Matte and Poreless Fit Me Maybelline Foundation. And this is in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I did buy a 110 Porcelain, but it's too light. I'm probably I'm going to mix both of them. I only like the sponge when I'm using a really full coverage foundation that covers a lot. This one's not full coverage, it's just medium coverage, so I definitely do love the brush. Now I'm gonna go in with the concealer. I'm gonna use the same concealer that I've been using this whole tutorial which is this one right here, the Instant H Rewind Concealer. And I'm just going to take that underneath my eye. I love this concealer. Um, it doesn't have the full coverage that I like, that I'm used to now, like the Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to set with the same powder. This is in the shade 10 Fair Light. This is the Maybelline Master Bronze Highlighting Kit. It does have a highlighting shade in there, which I probably will not use because I have another highlighter that's very popular from Maybelline which is this one right here I haven't used it and I've been dying to use it you only get one highlighter and then this is a bronzer but it's too light for me I am gonna use this bronzer right here and this is mostly to contour but I do not contour like that This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. For a highlighter at the drugstore, this is amazing. Look at that. This is going to look really pretty in the summer. No, I can't wait for next summer. For the blush, I got this kit right here, the Master Blush Color and Highlight Kit. I think I'm going to go with this one, you guys. I'm going to play it safe today. Ooh, I didn't think it was going to be that pigmented. We do have the Big Shot Mascara. I've used this before and I love it. Last but not least, for the lips, I'm using this lip liner in 160 Rich Wine. And I'm using this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in number 45. Now moving on to my least and favorite products. Um, I'm going to start off with my least favorite products for today. My least favorite product is the Superstay Matte Ink. I do not like this color at all. It's really blotchy. It gets all over my teeth too. And it's really sticky. And also, it takes a long time to dry this formula. So I do not recommend this 
Another product that I don't recommend is the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. I'm obviously done. This only lasted like five days. It breaks off so easily. I do not like it. I thought it was going to be a dupe for the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, but it's not. The CD Mini Palette. Um, I do like some of the shades, but the darker shades, I do not like. The shimmer shade is nice. For my favorite products, you guys know, I love the highlighter right here. I'm not going to talk about it that much because it's been raved about on social media. You need to go out and get it. They did come out with two more shades. So I am going to pick up the lighter shade. Definitely need this in your life. I love the primer. It moisturizes my skin. It feels very comfortable on the skin. Obviously, my favorite foundation ever. I love it. This loose powder is amazing. You guys need it in your life. I love how smooth it looks. It doesn't crease on me. I love this blush palette right here. I love this shade right here, the one that I used today. You only need a little bit. It's very, very pigmented, but definitely a must-have, and it has a highlighting shade in there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did filming it. It was very, very fun. Give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.